Hey you guys, it's Kristen and welcome back to The Gold Project. Today I'm behind the camera to bring you my sticker organization. Now, I have shared a video like this before, but it was at the very beginning when I started planner decorating. I didn't have a lot of stickers. I didn't really know how I wanted to organize them. And fast forward to now, I think I have a system down that I will keep using. And it took me several different attempts at different systems to find something that I thought worked. So, before I show you how I have it all set up, I want to show you the supplies that I'm using in most of these organizers. And it should come as no surprise, I'm using a binder system for my stickers. Now, I'm not just using one size of binder, but I am using just one brand. And that is, of course, you probably already know, that is the Better Binders from Staples. Y'all have seen me use these binders on my Binders 101 series. I have used these for DVDs. I just love these binders. They are a little bit more expensive than something that you would purchase at the Target dollar spot. Or, you know, I'm not even going to say that they're more expensive than if you went to Walmart. Because it might be a couple dollars more expensive. But this is a plastic um, binder that holds up. I have had the Binders 101 binders for probably four years. They've moved with me two or three different times and they still look brand new. So you're paying a little bit more for quality, which I would rather do. I am using two different sizes of this binder. I'm using the mini binder size and I'm wanting to say it's like a eight and a half by five and a half. I will link everything that I talk about below. The Etsy shops I'm going to talk about, all the products that I use inside, everything will be linked in the description below. So I'm using the mini size and then the regular size. But they are all the one inch binder and they're all white. I wanted my sticker organization to have all the same color. So everything is white. I like it to kind of be uniform if it's the same type of item going in each one of the binders. So, that is the binder that I'm using. Now, the binders are not organized the same way. They are all organized differently. I've used different types of dividers and different types of um, organization things inside of each one of the binders. So, I'm going to share the products. I think most of these... I don't think I've used anything more than what I'm about to show you, but if so, I'll make sure to explain that when I get to that particular binder. Okay, the first product that I'm using in the mini binders is the Avery Mini Size Sheet Protectors. Now, these are not used in every single binder, but they are in a majority of my binders. And just so you know, I have six different binders that I will be sharing with you today. Now, this insert has a piece of blue scrapbook paper in it, and I did that just so it was easier to see the insert because if I just stuck a clear sheet protector up here, you probably couldn't even see it on camera. So, these mini Avery sheet protectors. Then, in some of my bigger binders, see, this is, I should have done that same thing with this. This I got from Amazon, and it is is a regular size sheet protector but it is two different compartments on the sheet protector so these are five by seven sizes and it just has one slit on the front the top has an opening the bottom one has an opening but to me you can fit two per section so that is what i've done in some of the bigger binders and then my secret weapon, I would say, that somebody in the Libyan Co. group shared with me, and I'm very grateful for her to do this because this is the most amazing product I think that I have used for this system. And you will see it in several of my binders. These are basically adhesive strips. Okay, these are basically binder strips. They are clear plastic. They come with this little adhesive strip that you can use to attach a document, stickers, so that you can put it inside of your binder. 
I have used these in the mini binders and have used them in the regular size binders. Both, diff both sizes require me to cut the adhesive strip just a little bit. So these are amazing. They make it easy to pull out stickers and use them and then put them back. Because here is what I have found. Especially with the binders that I get in a lot to um, pull out stickers. It gets pretty stinking frustrating to pull sticker sheets in and out of a sheet protector. These make it to where you don't have to do that. You can just thumb through your binder, find the sheet you want, grab the sticker off, and you're done. So if you see, that is how they're done right there. Now, you might be wondering where you can get these. Now, I got my first couple of sets. I think I bought two sets off of Amazon. And then I needed some more last week. And I thought, I do not want to have to place a $50 Amazon order just to get these sticker sheet, just to get these binder strips. So I went online and I tried to find them. And Walmart.com actually sells these. So I ordered three sets of these and I just had them delivered to my local Walmart for free. So, you could get them on Amazon, Walmart, and I'm sure other places have them as well. But I paid roughly $3.99 per set, and there's 25 adhesive strips in each one of them. So, I didn't think that was too bad. Now, if you order these off of Amazon, they're considered an add-on item. So, you have to spend, I want to say, like $25 in order to get it at the $3.99 price. So, I knew I wasn't going to spend that much on Amazon because this was the only thing I needed and I did not want to order $50 worth of binder strips because I knew I didn't need that. So, that's why I was glad I found them at Walmart. We are going to start out with the binder of the shop or monthly subscription kit that you've heard me talk about since the beginning of this YouTube channel. The one that basically started my whole obsession with planner stickers. And that is the Planner Society. And I have, I started the Planner Society stickers in a smaller binder. That lasted a couple of days and I realized that I needed a bigger binder because the small one was getting way overstuffed. So, what I have done here, you might be wondering how I created this little cover sheet. Let me take it out and show it to you. Okay, so all I did here was this is a gray piece of scrapbook paper from Michaels. These are two different scrapbook sheets from the Planner Society. And this is actually a label that I got a couple months ago. It came in a set from the Target Dollar Spot. And I just used my label maker to type out the Planner Society. So... I just kind of slide that in here. And I you might be wondering why I have this little basically cover sheets still in here. I like to keep the cover sheets that come with the binders in case I need to measure anything. So I can just pull this piece of paper out and measure and cut off so I know exactly what size something needs to be when it goes in this front sheet. So that's why I always keep the um, cover sheets with my binders. So inside of this, this is not really organized in any particular order. But this is how I have the inside of this binder. Now, I'm using in this, in this binder, I'm using these BCW 5x7 sheet protectors that I shared with you guys. And basically, I just have all of the kits together. So, like right now, my July kit is in the mail to me. So, all of the stickers that come in that July kit, I will make sure to put them together in my binder. That's the best way that I have found to do the Planner Society. Because unless I want to cut my stickers, which I tried that and I didn't like that approach. So, unless I want to cut my stickers, they kind of have different things on each sheet. So, like here, it's got some of these appointment type of boxes. And then some little checklists down here. I didn't want to cut my sheets. So I thought the best way to organize the planner societies was by month. So all of the stickers that come in a kit go on a sleeve together. So I'm just going to kind of flip through and show you kind of what my binder looks like. So this was my June kit. Then this was my May kit.
And then I got the Valentine's Day kit back in February. And I highly recommend when Christy comes out with her holiday kits, I would make sure to get one of those because you get a ton of stickers in there. I mean, look at all these. I use this on one of my Plan With Me videos and I have still have all of these stickers left. So, I mean, it's a very good value for what you pay. So that is how I have my Planner Society binder put together. The next binder I'm going to share is going to be my Christiane Designs binder. And for this one, I have it in a mini size binder because her stickers fit the mini size binder. So that's why I have it in a smaller one. For the little sheet on the front, beat, I have two pieces of scrapbook paper layered. I just like the layered look. This is Amy Tangerine, and then this is just a Michael scrapbook page. And then I ordered the decal from Chrissy Ann Designs. Now, I just started ordering stickers in June for from Chrissy Ann Designs. Now, I know that I will have a lot more stickers of hers in the future. And that is why I made a separate binder for Chrissy Ann Designs. Because I knew I was going to purchase more and more stickers in the future. I already have several sheets in my cart to purchase when I get paid next. So right now, I really don't have a lot in this binder and it's not really organized, but it's going to be. So I just kind of have them put in here and this is how, and if you notice, this binder is put together using the adhesive strips and I just kind of measured them out. I took one of the little strips like so and I just kind of eyeballed it to see where it would go in this binder and then I just trimmed it and made sure the sheets fit. So Christiane Designs, if you have never purchased stickers from there, I got mine first time in June and I had never purchased there before. I had no idea what to purchase because um, it was the first time I'd actually seen her website as well. So I went online and I asked some um, questions on one of the planner groups that I'm in and everybody said to go with the grab bag. So that is what I went with. So you get five, a variety of sheets, five different sheets for $25. So that is what I went with and I was so glad that I did because I got a nice variety to find what I really like from Chrissy Ann Designs. So this is one of her samplers. So it's got a variety of stickers from all of the different sticker sets that she sells. And they have several different, like four or five different sampler sets that you can try. So I was pretty excited about getting this so I could kind of test out different ones to see what worked best for me and my planner decorating. So I have that sheet. This came with that, sh that set as well, just some icons. I ordered this one separate on my last order when I got my pencil pouch. And um, I'm not exactly sure what the name of this one is. Oh, it's down here. It is KAD00420. And then I got this one on that order. It is 00444. So I like half boxes. If y'all did not know that quite yet, I like to write my blog posts and YouTube videos on those, any type of special events. I like to use a half box for that. So that's why I ordered these two because I knew I was going to use those. And then the rest of these came in my grab bag. This sheet, this sheet, and this one. So once I order more stickers from Chrissy Ann Designs, I know I will start getting the dividers, but I'm not sure right now how I want everything to be divided out. So I'm just going to add to it until that system kind of works itself out. Last single shop binder is actually the most detailed one. And I'm sure you probably already know if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook what binder this is. And that is the Libby & Co binder. Okay, just like the other ones, same type of process. This is a Michael scrapbook page. These two scrapbook pages here are the fine and dandy Dear Lizzie papers from that paper pad. 
Target label, and then my label maker to do Libby & Co. This is probably my favorite shop of any to purchase stickers from. The quality is amazing. You get a ton of stickers. So I will share at the very end all of my favorite sticker shops, but this one has to be my number one favorite. And you will see I have a ton of stickers from here. I have an ongoing Etsy cart full of stickers. And if you want to test out the Libby & Co stickers, you don't want to go and buy things. You want a good value um, to figure out if you like the shop. I highly recommend the mystery kits every month. She puts the mystery kits on sale usually the first day of every month you get a ton of stickers for $24. That includes your stickers and the shipping. And you get some extras as well. Usually she puts a Sharpie in there and a cute little decorative paper type of clip, notepads. I mean, I highly recommend this monthly subscription. So this is how I have this all divided out. Now, these are the Avery dividers that I have used. And let me show you how I have this binder divided out. I have boxes, icons, headers, checklists, kits, samplers, and then that says backgrounds because it wouldn't all fit on one line, so I had to cut. I wasn't really happy about that, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And then I have an extra just in case there is some sort of category that I have missed. So these little dividers here cost, I think about $3.50 from Walmart. They are plastic. You can take the little sheets in and out and replace them. I love that fact. So these are my favorite type of dividers if you don't need a pocket on your divider. So the first section is boxes. Boxes, my absolute favorite. These are the appointment boxes. I like to use the appointment boxes when my daughter has cheer or swim or anything like that. These are the marquee movie boxes and this whole thing, most of it, most of this whole binder is put together using those adhesive strips. So it makes it super easy. I can just pull out my binder, thumb through, find the page, pull the sticker off and I'm done. There's no pulling sticker sheets out and all of that. This is the binder I use the most. I wanted to make sure that it was put together conveniently for me. So these, and a lot of these, you guys, I purchased on sale days. Like these, I think I purchased four sets of half boxes when she had a sale because she was discontinuing these. So I just kind of stocked up. And this sticker paper and the Christian Design sticker paper is pretty similar. I think they have excellent quality sticker paper. So if you're wanting nice quality stickers, I think their sticker paper is the best that I have seen so far. It is, it's kind of stretchy, which I kind of like. And I have made mistakes in my planner before where I stuck something down and it was crooked and it was easy to pull these back up. Second section is icons. This is the one that I keep adding to every time I plan. I'm like, oh, I wish I had that sticker. So I'll write it down and I'll add it to my card. Megaphones for my daughter's cheer. Look how many stickers you get on one sheet. These stickers right here were, I think, $4.50. And usually if you check her Instagram, she at least has a 10% off code at the very top of her profile. So look, at, um, there's no way I'm going to use all of these stickers. So you, I mean, look, she has given every little ounce of space on that sheet is filled with a sticker. So I love that about this shop. So these are no school pencils and I've used those to indicate things like Labor Day and Martin Luther King Jr. Day, all of those things to where we will not have school. Payday, you can see I've used these a lot. So anytime I get paid, I just mark it on my monthly calendar. Meal planning stickers, because I use my note section to meal plan. Then the Libby Littles are awesome. So these are the little 
half sheets. And if you see, they fit in the little five by seven inserts. These are great. They're only $2.50 a sheet, and I love them. They're a little bit smaller than the full-size sheet, but I think they work great for a planner. I prefer this size over the big size, to be honest. So these I got to indicate birthdays. These um, are the road trip stickers, and I got those to indicate um, when I'm traveling to visit family. The pills for when I need to refill prescriptions haircut stickers, backpacks for school, and I just got a new sheet. Let me find this. And I just got one more little sheet for school. So I would like to use these little backpacks for any type of school thing that is for my daughter. And then for me, I ordered, when I ordered her Oopsie Kit, which is definitely not an Oopsie Kit because I didn't see anything wrong with them, these little schoolhouses. So if I have like parent-teacher conference or some kind of professional development, I plan on using these little schoolhouse stickers. Okay. Then I got these little Llama Love decals. And if you do not know what the Llama thing is, um, you need to check out Planners Gone Wild Uncensored on Facebook and you will know all about it. But I suggest looking at the pin post before you ask what um, the purpose of the Llama is. Um, and I will talk about Planners Gone Wild in um, my next video, actually. And then these are the dishwashing stickers. Planner Nerd decals. And guys, I plan on putting these on a cup and keeping some kind of planner accessories in there. Let me see what I have this. Okay. Then these were part of my Oopsie kit. I don't really understand. They're perfectly fine to me, but they're little dinner and work checklists. Which probably needs to go in my checklist section. I just haven't done that yet. Okay, next section is headers. So I just have the today headers. Those are some of my favorites. And then the weekend banners. And these are the horizontal layout weekend banners. Then we have checklists. I like to do daily checklists. Um, these are just the regular ones. These are the dinner ones that I use on the bottom of my notes section to indicate what we're going to have for dinner every night. And I got two sheets of those last time. This came in my Oopsie kit. Just regular checklists. Then we move to kits. So for the kit, you're gonna see how many stickers come in a kit. I have all of my kits together. I decided not to separate them. I separated them at first and I thought, I do not like that idea. I don't wanna cut the stickers, so this works best. So this was my June kit. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six. So six, and then you have the little sampler sheet that comes with it. I got the little B sampler sheet. So basically seven sheets of stickers for your $24. Very good deal, I think. So this was my May kit. Kind of kind of thumb through it. This was my April kit, and my April kit was the vertical layout. And when you get the mystery kit, you can choose vertical or horizontal. So this was the one that was um, vertical. I have now moved to a horizontal layout planner, which I love. I think I will stick with the horizontal. It just gives me more writing space. And this was mermaid themed. So, I mean, for your $24, you could probably get a whole month's worth of sticker decorating. I mean, you get that many stickers. So, these are the little icon stickers that come with each one. This was for my April kit, my May kit, and the B was my June kit. And then the sampler sheets. Okay, this came with my uh, Oopsie kit. This came with my Oopsie kit. This was on her free sheet Friday. 
Every month or so on a Friday, she will have a free sheet Friday. So when you place an order, she will put a free sheet of stickers in there. So I highly recommend ordering on those days. And then you will see here, this is all, this is how many orders I have placed with Libby and Co. the last couple of months. Every time you place an order with her, you get a sticker, a little freebie set. This is actually, I didn't even mention this in the beginning, this is like a credit card type of insert. And these little samplers fit perfectly inside of the credit card inserts. So just for future reference. And then the last section for this book, or and then the last section for this binder is backgrounds. And I just have one set because this came with my Oopsie set. Normally when I get backgrounds, they come with a kit, but I added this section just in case I wanna just order backgrounds. My fourth binder is actually a binder that's organized by shop, but it's going to have several different shops in one. And there's not a whole lot of stickers in here because it is one that I'm building. I haven't bought a whole lot of stickers to put in here, but I still wanted to show it to you guys. And let me show you how I have the little cover sheet organized out. Okay, just like before, this is a Michaels scrapbook page. These two here are the Planner Society Target label, and I typed out planner stickers by shop with my label maker. Okay, so I have in this binder, I've used the same little Avery plastic dividers that I used in my Libby and Co. binder. And you will see I only have three shop names up here. It's Planning Time, Two Little Bees, and Pretty Sheepy. And I do not have a lot of stickers in here. I know I will be adding stickers from those shops. Okay, so I'll go through what I have. So I just ordered my first set of stickers about two weeks ago from It's Planning Time. And I got her little grab bag. And I really like her stickers. They are really good. She is, Denise is super sweet. So if you've never ordered from her, I highly recommend It's Planning Time. And you will probably see that shop in a couple of months on a Plan With Me video because I have it, I've had it marked down for several months to do a um, Plan With Me with its planning time. So all of these stickers came from her shop. And then these here, they were too big to fit in the business card top of inserts. So what I did was I just put a cut down piece of scrapbook paper, and I just kind of laid these in my five by seven inserts. So it says day off, this is a computer screen. This is for working out and sh grocery shopping. So that's all that I have right now from it's planning time, but I will be definitely adding to that set. So the second shop that I have in this binder is Two Little Bees, and the only sticker set that I have in this little section right now is the Planner Girl sticker set that you guys saw me use on the Plan With Me video. I'll make sure to link that below in case you did not check that out. But July is the first month that Two Little Bees is coming out with their monthly subscription, and I think it's a month-to-month -month thing, so you don't sign up and then they automatically take the money out every month. So, that's good. Um, I signed up for the July kit, so that's why I decided to do a section in this binder for Two Little Bees, because I know that I am going to attempt to get the kit every single month, so I know I'm going to add stickers to this. Now, the third and last shop that I have in this binder, and I have five other sections for other shops if I want to add more shops, is Pretty Sheepy. Now, Pretty Sheepy, I've done a um, Plan With Me video on Pretty Sheepy. I'll make sure to leave that link below in the description over the Inside Out stickers. In case you did not know, Pretty Sheepy is a husband and wife team, and most of their stickers are Disney themed. So if you are a Disney fanatic like me, you will love their sticker shop. So currently I have two sets of stickers in my cart ready for payday to purchase from Pretty Sheepy. And that is the Hocus Pocus set. I will pop up a picture of that hand-drawn pictures of the witches and 
I'm definitely getting that to put in my October layouts. Adorable. And then also up. Up will be my August plan with me video. So make sure that you check that in, out in August. I do not have any stickers in here for Pretty Sheepy yet. I have stickers from when I got the um, Inside Out stickers, but I haven't transferred them over from another binder. So you're going to see them in one of my other binders that I'm about to show you. But I just know that my Disney sticker collection is going to multiply. So that's why I have a section in this binder for that shop. Okay, now we're getting to my last two binders and these are just basically different shops that I've put in two different binders. The first set here is just planner stickers. That's all I have on the front. The sheets here, I think this is Amy Tangerine is the stripe. Planner Society is the um, heart sheet, Target, and then I think these are the Planner Society stickers. So inside of here, this is one of the binders where I have, um, let me see. Yes, this is one of the binders that I have used the little mini size sheet protectors. Now, I made this index myself because I was trying to save money and because I didn't really know if they had an index for a mini binder. So section one is for boxes, half boxes, quarter size boxes, anything that's a box. Two is for headers and weekend stickers. Third section is for checklists, fourth backgrounds, and fifth is just samplers. When I say samplers, I'm talking about things that have a variety of different stickers on one sheet. So now let's go through here. These right here are actually dividers from a regular size binder. So I just took them and I cut them down so they would fit my mini binder. So section one is boxes. So Carolina Crafts, if you've not checked out Carolina Crafts, they are, she is great. So I highly recommend that shop. XOXO Prints is good. She sent me a ton, Nadia sent me a ton of different stickers to try out and I have used them in almost every week's layout. So great functional stickers there. Second section is um, headers, and I think I just used the rest of the headers that I had on this front sheet. So a heartfelt life, y'all saw I used in one of my plain with me videos. Paper cuts and pliers, scribble prints co. Third section is checklists. And these are Planner Penny. If you've never checked out Planner Penny, I highly recommend them. I also did a plan with me on that. And I can see Planner Penny going in my big binder with um, shops in it. Very high quality stickers. These are the ones from Pretty Sheepy that need to go in that section in that other binder. And I've added just some extra um, sheets in each section just so if I have more stickers, I don't have to sit here and spend some time cutting out different backgrounds. And I just put scrapbook paper in each one of these so it was easier to see what I had going on inside of each sleeve. And the fourth section is backgrounds, I think. Yes, backgrounds. And I guess I used the first one there, too. Um, Blushing Cuties. Um, she sent me some stickers, too. That I really like that shop. This is Paper Cuts and Pliers. This goes to the Pretty Sheepy Inside Out set. So, you guys, I cut those stickers, and I really hate that I cut those because that's why I don't have them in the bigger binder. Fifth section is samplers. So, samplers, look, I've almost used all of my Planner Penny. I loved these little hot air balloons. So make sure you check out that plan with me. If you haven't checked that out, I will make sure to leave a link to that. Um, so see, these stickers, they have a variety of stickers on one sheet. So that's why they went in the sampler set. And then I just have some other shops in the back. These are my inside out um, stickers. Like the Reset Girl, I have several of her sticker sheets back here. So those are just kind of thrown in the very back. 
And my last binder is a mini binder, and this is my Icons binder. This is, I think both of these scrapbook pages are from the Dear Lizzie Fine and Dandy set. I love that set. It's just pinks and fun girly colors. So I highly recommend that um, scrapbook paper set. That is another one of the Target labels. Now, this is divided out by category, and I made this index myself. I needed 10 different sections, and I really don't think you could get one with 10 different sections on it. So, I made all of these little sheets myself. I cut my little, I measured and cut the scrapbook paper out so it would fit nicely and be the same size. So, section one is around the house. Two is brand planning. Three is food and menu. Four is financial. Five is shopping. Six is animal and character. Seven is circle icons. Eight is seasonal holiday. Nine is sampler. And then ten is just whatever couldn't go up in one of the first nine categories. So, and this, once again, these are regular size um, dividers that I cut down to fit inside of this binder. I had several different dividers in a drawer in my office and I didn't want to go out and spend more money so I just cut these down and use them in here. So the first section was home around the house. So I have workout stickers here from Carolina Crafts and here's how this entire binder is done. I took scrapbook paper, I took scrapbook paper, cut it out, put the little reinforcement so it wouldn't tear out of my binder. I used my Elmer's tape runner and I just apl applied a strip of glue at the top and attached the sheet. So what I can do is I can go through here and kind of waterfall all of my stickers so I can keep putting them on this sheet. So this is the first one. Then I have, this says Aunt Flo is in town. This is probably one of my favorite stickers. I like it. So I have trouble keeping up with when Aunt Flo comes to visit. So I like to put these in my planner just so I can kind of keep up with if I'm regular or not. Um, blushing cuties, nail polish, and laundry. And I have some extra in here in case I have more stickers I want to add. Section two was, I think, brand planning. So I have YouTube stickers, some cameras. I think that might be it right here. Yes, that's it. Three is food and menu. So I've got some cupcakes, macaroons, or however you pronounce that. Um, grocery shopping. This was like a little sampler, I think. Dinner plates. This is blushing cuties as well. I think that's it for that section. Nope. And these are like little appliances and kitchen gadgets. Section four is financial. So I've got these little um, bill icons that I was using to put when I got paid or when I um, needed to pay a bill. I think that's it for that. Yep. Five is shopping, target icons. That's it. That's it. So you, this doesn't. This binder doesn't have a whole lot in here. Five. I mean, six is animals and characters. So the owls from A Heartfelt Life, and then this is a little sampler. I can't remember where I got that. Uh, my pretty sheepy, inside out stickers. I mean, how cute are these? If I would not have cut these, they would have gone in my binder per shop. And I just loved Inside Out. That's the little sampler that came with that. So if I wouldn't have cut those, I would have put those in this pretty sheepy section in my other binder. Seven was Circle Icon. So anything that, and these are squares, but I still put those in here. So anything that has a circle, even if it's like grocery shopping, if it has a circle on the outside, I put it in here. Eight is, um, oh Lord, what's eight? Seasonal. I think eight is seasonal. Okay, so we've got um, flowers and some Valentine's Day stickers, breast cancer awareness, 
breast cancer awareness little mermaid and summer type of icons christmas presents and i've used these little christmas presents here from blushing cuties in my erin conjure notebook to section off um, christmas items for different people um, snowmen and snowflakes and the footballs from carolina crafts and i actually use these on um my Fridays in my planner to indicate when my husband had football games and who his opponents were. And then nine is samplers. So if you see, there's a variety of different stickers on each one of these. And actually, the weekend, these I didn't know where to put, so I just put them in the sampler set. And then last, number 10, was miscellaneous. And right now, I don't have anything in there because I had divided everything out. I just put miscellaneous in case there was something else later on down the road that did not have a section. Okay, you guys. So, that is all for my sticker organization. I have shared all of my stickers with you guys that I have and how I have them organized. They all stand up in my craft station on one of the little cubbies. Um, and now I want to share with you some of my favorite sticker shops. Now, let's start by monthly subscriptions. Because I know when I started planner decorating, I had no idea where to start. I think a subscription kit is the best way to start your sticker set. Because it's going to give you a lot of stickers for not a whole lot of amount of money. The first one that I started was the Planner Society. Highly recommend the Planner Society. I love Christy's kit. She always has the neatest things in her kit, not just stickers. You get pouches and washi tape and planner clips. I mean, she goes above and beyond every month on her kit. Pins, you name it, you get a variety of themed items. Highly recommend it. The second one that I love, Libby and Co. Those are my two favorite monthly subscriptions because I just love everything that you get in there and the price. Now, the third subscription kit is Two Little Bees. I, have, I can't really give you my opinion of that quite yet because I haven't received my first ever kit. So, once I get that kit, I will share with you guys my opinions of it. But from what I've seen, Maria's kit is going to be pretty amazing. So I cannot wait to share that information with you guys. Now, let's talk my favorite sticker shops. Of course, the Planner Society is going to be one of my st favorite sticker shops. And really, you can't really buy, so you just subscribe to that kit. So that's the way you get the Planner Society stickers. Um, Libby and Co. Love the stickers. Um, next would be Chrissy Ann Designs. I just started buying stickers from there, but she is one of my favorite shops. I love the quality of the stickers. If you don't know what to purchase, get the grab bag so that you can kind of decide what stickers that you want from her shop. Now, next to Lil B's. I love the sticker quality, the glossy sticker look. That's why I signed up for the first ever monthly kit for that because... I really like Two Little Bees. I think that um, I just love everything about it. Next would be um, Pretty Sheepy. Pretty Sheepy is my favorite Disney place to get Disney stickers. Great quality stickers. Highly recommend them. Next would be um, Next would be It's Planning Time. Love those stickers. I just ordered my first set last month. Um, Denise is super sweet. Great person to work with. She has a Facebook group that you need to add where she has um, giveaways and sneak peeks of things. Um, next, I like Planner Penny. High quality. I've used them in the past for my Plan With Me video, so I highly recommend them. And you guys, that would probably be my top six favorite sticker shops at the moment. So just to kind of go back through, we've got the Planner Society. Libby & Co., Chrissy Ann Designs, Planner Penny, Pretty Sheepy, and It's Planning Time. Now, I have ordered stickers from other shops. Oh, and Two Little Bees, so seven. So, you guys, that would probably be my top seven sticker shops. And I have gotten stickers from other places, but those are my top seven.
And you guys, that is how I have my stickers organized. I hope you've enjoyed seeing how I have all of my binders set up. Make sure you check the description below for all of the shops that I've mentioned, all the products that I use in every one of these binders, including the binders. I hope you give this video a thumbs up and I hope you subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope y'all have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.